Hey everybody, welcome to Buratech. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about Elon Musk buying $1.5 billion of Bitcoin. Alright, welcome back. Before you this video, I want to make sure that you like and subscribe. The more likes and subscribers we get, the more content we can make. So, on this channel, we tend to talk about technology, entrepreneurship, and making money. And there is no better way to make money today than to buy cryptocurrencies. And the interesting thing about this is that Elon Musk, or at least Tesla, has purchased $1.5 billion dollars worth of Bitcoin. Now that's a lot of Bitcoin, but here's the interesting thing about Bitcoin. If you've been following this channel, of course, please be sure to like and subscribe. But if you've been following this channel, I tell you that there are only so many Bitcoins available. And that's the major reason why Bitcoin is booming. In a world of infinite fiat currencies, the scarcity of Bitcoin makes it valuable. And Economics 101, if it's more scarce, chances are it's more valuable. So one of the things that's been happening is that there's been a lot of institutional investors investing into Bitcoin. These are pension funds, etc. And you're starting to see a lot more companies buy Bitcoin. Now, should you buy Bitcoin? The answer is absolutely yes. And the best part about Bitcoin is that it is incredibly divisible. Remember that some things are not as divisible as others. For example, if you want to buy an investment condo, you have to have a down payment and probably some taxes to go buy that condo. And if you want to buy gold or silver, you usually have to buy one ounce and that is fairly expensive. But Bitcoin is very divisible. For example, the fiat money that you hold is very divisible up to the nickel or penny, depending on where you live. And what this really means is that if you want to buy something that's $39.85, you can, but you can also buy something that's $39.25. When things aren't as divisible, let's say if you're trading gold back and forth, you couldn't have that level of granularity. So the best thing about Bitcoin though is that it is incredibly divisible. So whether you only have $1 or if you have $1.5 billion, the upside is going to be exactly the same. Now the thing that's on everybody's mind is will Tesla start to buy Ethereum? Because if Bitcoin is digital gold, then Ethereum is digital oil. And there's a lot of really cool things happening in the Ethereum space, especially because Ethereum 2.0 just came out. So the big thing on everyone's mind is will Tesla buy Ethereum, which is the second most popular popular cryptocurrency. If Bitcoin is digital gold and Ethereum is digital oil, will Tesla buy it? Well, I don't think Tesla's going to buy Ethereum because it runs on gas. <laughs> But in all seriousness though, I think Tesla will buy Ethereum and I think Ethereum is heavily discounted at that price. Plus there's a lot of altcoins out there that are heavily discounted. So if you're not buying cryptocurrencies right now, you're not doing it right. You should have at least some exposure. And if you're going to have some exposure, you want to make sure that you actually own the coins. If you go to some brokerages where they have just price exposure, not actually owning the coins, this is something that you do not want to do. You want to own the actual coins because in the future, you'll be able to lend out your Bitcoin at a very high interest rate. In fact, if you buy one Bitcoin today, it might be possible that you'll be able to retire off the income generated from that Bitcoin that is lending it out in the future. The other thing you can do is if you buy 32 Ethereum, you can use it for proof of stake and you can actually make money doing this. So if I had a lot more money, I would be buying a lot more crypto right now. In fact, the best way to buy crypto is the dollar cost average. Put it in a fixed amount a day, every day, and that way over time you will make more money. Now the thing is, is that crypto is booming, so there's always room for a correction. And if you look at the price volatility of Bitcoin and Ethereum, it is pretty high compared to, let's say, well, fiat currency or stocks. Not the meme stocks because there's a lot of volatility there. So in conclusion, Tesla is a huge name that bought a ton of Bitcoin and I would expect that there are a lot bigger names that are thinking about buying Bitcoin. If not, they're already buying. Remember that there are 47 million millionaires on the planet and each one of these millionaires cannot own a Bitcoin. There's just not enough supply. So once you really understand what that means, then you'll definitely start to buy some Bitcoin. Of course, you should buy some gold, silver, and real estate too, because this decade is the decade that all of these investments are really going to pay off. So this is just a hunch, but I think everything's gonna go up for the entire decade. Once we started money printing 10 years ago, this was a 20 year long bull market. Now, what would be somewhat humorous and history tends to rhyme is that in 2029, there would be a huge stock market crash. Literally a hundred years 
after the big stark market crash of 1929. All right, so that concludes this video. I wanna hear your comments down below. What coins are you buying? Are you buying Bitcoin, Ethereum? What altcoins are really interesting for you? I definitely wanna read your comments down below. If you really like this channel, if you got some value out of it, we don't have a Patreon. Instead, we sell our digital products down below. The more we're gonna get from the content that you buy below, the more content we can make. It keeps this channel free and it keeps my company, Mammoth Interactive, going strong. If you really like this channel, you can subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. We release 20 to 60 hours of fresh new content per month every month. Every dollar from the subscription goes back into making more content. So with your help, we can become the best e-learning company on the planet. Our goal is to get to 10,000 monthly subscribers. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.